In today's video, I'm going to show you how to live stream to Facebook using OBS and let's get into it. The first thing you need to do, you need to go to obsproject.com. I'm going to leave a link down below and you want to make sure you download the version that goes with your operating system. If you're on Windows, go for Windows. If you're on Mac, go for Mac. Just click to it. It's going to download in your download folder. Click to it, install it. And once installed, a fresh copy of OBS is going to look like this. Now, what we need, we need to add our webcam or our camera. And we need to add audio, which is going to be a microphone before we can actually go live to Facebook. So as you can see, this is what we call scenes and sources. So under scene, we need to create our first scene. By default, it's going to be a scene called subscribe. And that scene, you can actually go ahead and right click to it and rename it. And then you can name it whatever you want. So let's call it maybe main. And then under the scene, we're going to go under sources and then we're going to hit the plus sign. And then we're going to add a video capture device. It's going to be our camera. You can name it whatever you want or just leave it like this. Click OK. And then under that, we're going to look for our webcam. I have a webcam called Meet 2 connected from Ausbat. It's going to show up right here. And then you want to make sure you choose the resolution type depending on what you're using but the idea is to keep it at 1920 by 1080 and then fps you want to make sure you choose 30 and then once you're done you're going to go ahead and click ok the next thing we're going to go hit the plus sign again and we're going to add an audio input capture and that's going to be our microphone you can name it whatever you want maybe the name of your microphone click ok and look for the name of your microphone assuming your microphone is connected to your computer via usb or it could be an interface but mine is called uh, microphone broadcaster duo i'm gonna go ahead and click ok so right now i have the image and we have the signal for the microphone everything looks good now it's time to go live on facebook so right now i have my facebook page open and what i need to do is i want to go here and where it says live video click to live video and then click go live and then make sure you choose streaming software make sure it is selected and where it says under streaming software setup you want to make sure you see this thing that says stream key we're gonna need it we also gonna need what we call a stream url okay but before that we're gonna go here where it says what's your live video about so we're gonna click to that we're gonna actually create a title we can call it test and a description we can call it test and make sure it says public click ok or save and then we're gonna go ahead and copy the first thing we're gonna be our server url so we're gonna go ahead and copy this go back to obs we're gonna go to obs settings here and then we're gonna go under stream for service you want to make sure you choose you can actually go ahead and choose facebook live or you can choose custom if you choose custom you're gonna get this part that says server so we're gonna go ahead and paste the url that we just got from facebook and then we're gonna go back to facebook again and then we're gonna copy our stream key as well so click copy Go back to OBS, go away, it says stream key, paste, and then hit apply. And then we want to make sure our settings are okay as well. So we're going to go under uh, video first. And then we want to make sure base canvas set to 1920 by 1080. Output resolution is set to 1920 by 1080. Common FPS is set at 30 frames per second or 30. If you get me, you can actually put at 60. And then you want to make sure your output so we're gonna go to output you want to make sure output mode is actually set to advanced and then we're gonna go under stream to make sure our settings are actually good we're gonna go to video encoder you want to make sure you actually set it to nvec h264 if you don't have this dedicated graphics card you can use another graphics card that you may have but make sure you choose h264 and if you don't have a decade graphics card you can use x264 all right but this is really good now you're gonna go to encoder settings we're gonna go to rate control you want to make sure you choose constant bit rate and then for the bit rate you want to use 6000 that's the maximum that you can use if your internet connection is not good you can go a little lower like you know something like 4000 or 5000 keyframe interval you want to make sure you put it to two seconds everything else guys you can actually keep it the way it is preset you can actually use slow good quality everything else you can just copy my settings here and then hit apply and hit okay right now we are good we are ready to go live you can actually hit start live streaming now if i go back to facebook actually we should be able to get the feed coming from obs and as you can see the feed is coming in no problem now the next thing you need to do really 
is just to hit this go live button and you're gonna be live on facebook now there's a problem now facebook doesn't keep your live streams after the fact anymore so after 30 days it's gonna delete this live stream so what i would advise you instead of losing your entire live stream i would advise you to when you go live you can also go to obs here and click start recording so basically what it's gonna do is gonna record a copy of your stream and you can use it maybe for something else later on or you can actually archive it for later use because at the end of the day this is content however the settings everything that i just showed you guys was about streaming so for recording you want to make sure you go back to the settings and then you go to this tab right here the output tab and choose recording and make sure you nail all the recording settings before you hit that record button and to do that i have another video that i made showing you the best obs settings for recording that video is going to be linked right here so make sure you check it out and i will see you there guys Take care.